in this video I'm going to upgrade this server to a newer processor generation. The newer processor generation has a 6-core processor and there is a currently 4-core processor inside. Therefore I've bought two. Um, I need actually 16 processors but I'm trying uh, first to exchange just two, just to check if it works. So therefore I've bought two and um, here I'm cleaning them up with contact spray to make sure that they are, to remove the oxidation because the processors are also used. I got them just for six uh, bucks each. So after removing the heat sink, um, I've opened the LGA 1366 socket and then Here's a critical part. You have to remove the processor carefully. Um, I tried different methods, but um, the best it worked for me. And you have to be really, really careful here not to bend the contacts underneath. So the best method that worked for me was to use such tools that I have were included in my set of screwdrivers for repair of uh, smartphone, tablet, PCs, and. Um, yeah, I have carefully removed the old processor and then I have placed carefully also the new 6-core processor. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> so here you can see the excess um, points where you can uh, lift the processor there and you have to be of course careful um, about the orientation of the processor. So, looks good. Then we can apply a little bit of the thermal paste. There are different ways, of course, to do it. Uh, if you have another method, just let me know. Then, of course, I have removed the old thermal paste from the heat sink and I have mounted the heat sink again. So that's basically it was the first one yeah and I did it also because it's a each of the boards inside and there are four boards in such such a housings um, has uh, two processors so it's a dual processor board so I have to exchange also the second one and it's the same but much faster because I knew already how to do it now, same steps again Here we go. So, here we go. Let's test if this works. So I powered it up and of course I was a little bit curious if it will work. And yeah, here, yeah, it seems to be successful. Yeah. Here we go, you can see the new clock rate, which is uh, the base clock rate of 2.93 gigahertz. And you can, uh, the turbo goes up to 3.3 uh, gigahertz. I'm running on each, so I've in each housing I have four such servers and I'm running Proxmox on it. Here Proxmox is booting, Proxmox is like um, a cloud, uh, uh, system where you can manage your computers, you can connect them together and ra uh, run different applications there, different containers and virtual computers. And here we go, you can see 24 threads because I have two um, processors and each processor has um, yeah, six cores and 12 uh, threads, so 24 threads in total. And what you can see here, this is a Proxmox interface, uh, web interface, which you can access with the browser. You can also s start different uh, containers there and virtual com activate virtual computers. And here you can see the old uh, system, one of the old systems. I have eight in total, which has uh, just 16 CPUs. So I'm accessing another computer here in the 16 CPUs. And here's a new one with 24, uh, I should say threads because yeah, it has 12 CPUs in total. This upgrade was successful.